Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. In this update, we'll find out how to correctly diagnose engine noise to avoid unnecessary repairs. Diagnosing engine noise can be a costly challenge. Now, to help us find the correct noise source faster, we talked earlier with Richard Mayu, Ford Gas Engine Program Manager. So, welcome to Tech Talk, Richard. Thanks, Oliver. So, what is the biggest challenge in diagnosing engine noise? Sound transfer. It can make it difficult to locate the source of the noise. Can you give us an example? Sure, a failed whirl finger follower is one example. It's common to misinterpret this sound as lower engine noise because of sound transfer. This can lead to replacing the entire engine and expensive over-repair. How do we avoid an over-repair? First, verify the noise. Note when and where it occurs, cold startup, at idle, while driving, hot engine only, or after a deceleration only. Is the noise loudest at the upper end or at the oil pan? So on. To avoid misdiagnosis, remove the serpentine belt to eliminate any engine accessory noises. These can be mistaken for an internal engine failure. Also, avoid running the engine too long without it, or the engine can overheat. If there are no accessory noises, inspect for signs of lack of maintenance such as sludge or varnish accumulation. Sludge may limit oil flow and can cause noise and repeat component failures. If the vehicle has a variable camshaft timing system or VCT, a loss of control of the VCT system can cause noise. If there are no signs of lack of maintenance and the engine noise occurs on deceleration at hot idle only, try shutting the vehicle off. Wait a few seconds and restart the engine. If the noise is gone, this could possibly be a VCT system issue. Spark knock can be misinterpreted as an engine noise too. It's caused by carbon deposits on the tops of pistons, poor fuel quality, or an incorrect air-fuel ratio. VCT and air-fuel mixture issues can be difficult to diagnose. If these systems are suspect during the diagnostic process, please visit motorcraftservice.com or visit your local dealership for a full diagnostic analysis. If you haven't found the noise yet, cancel cylinders with the Integrated Diagnostic System, or IDS. All right, I'm going to cancel number one. Cancellation removes pressure or force on the lower end components of that cylinder. Less pressure can cause a change in the noise. You may need chassis ears or a mechanic stethoscope to hear the change, but if you do, it suggests a lower end engine noise. Keep in mind, canceling cylinders does change engine RPM. This can affect upper end engine components too, so it's important not to go too far too quickly. Next, check the engine oil pressure, then keep record of your results. Is the noise present at cold and normal operating temperatures, at idle, at elevated engine RPM, and after deceleration at idle? To check for a lower end engine failure, inspect the engine oil filter pleats. If you find excessive bearing metal, you need to start a full engine failure analysis. Next, inspect the valve train components. It might sound as if it's a lower end problem when really the problem is in the cylinder heads. Rotate the camshaft on the base circle so that the camshaft lobe doesn't compress the intake or exhaust valve and the valve train. A loaded valve train can hide loose, worn, or broken components. Always inspect lifters, tappets, lash adjusters, roller finger followers, valve springs, chain tensioners, chain guides, cam bore in the cylinder head or camshaft. When you inspect the camshaft and cylinder head journals, remember that light scoring might not be an issue. Severe scoring is cause for concern. One of the tools that can help you with engine noise diagnosis is the engine noise stethoscope. There are several available on rotunda.service-solutions.com. The two we are featuring today amplify an engine noise while shutting out surrounding noises at the same time. The flexible shaft helps you listen anywhere, and the non-conductive microphones avoid the risk of zapping any expensive electronics or computer circuitry. A set of multiple channel chassis ears can also help detect squeaks and rattles in the chassis. Kits are available on rotunda.service-solutions.com. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that Motorcraft parts feature a two-year unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Check out our series of posts for installation and repair tips for Ford engines. Thanks for watching.